boys it's blunt goods today i'm going to be uploading the remastered 2023 version of how to hide your carts your carts your dispos your weed whatever you guys feel like these hiding spots would work for i'm going to be talking about now before we get any deeper into the video i'd really appreciate if you guys could get us to 1k subs boys i'm going to be dropping merch once we hit that k and trust me boys i'm not gonna lag on that shit i already got hella designs made like i've been had designs made before the summer even started so make sure you guys fucking support the vision share the videos with your homie fucking like it subscribe all that good shit and yeah boys let's get let's just get straight into the video hiding your carts in 2020 2023 now i know a lot of my viewers are a lot of fucking stoners a lot of potheads i'll be reading the comments you fools be like talking about you've gotten caught in school with fucking carts like five times bro like i don't even know how that shit happens yeah boys i have a lot of stoner subscribers who be getting caught all the time in school will be getting caught all the time by their parents pretty much in this video i'm gonna be giving you guys some tips on how to fucking hide your shit bro because a lot of you guys fucking hiding spots are so retarded like i don't even know how you're still on this earth a lot of you guys be trying to buy those fucking stashes from hot topic those fucking fake soda cans or something and that's just like so stupid because imagine your dad or your parents are or the fucking cops are searching around your room or something or searching around your car and they just find a soda can and everybody knows what a soda can feels like when you shake it when you're holding it so when you get this fucking fake ass soda can and you're holding it you're gonna be like bro what the fuck is this something has to be wrong so yeah i definitely avoid using those fake stash spot shits and i definitely advise using the advice i'm about to give you right now now these are going to be on order from most practical to least practical so let's just start with number one which is hiding shit in your waistband slash hoodie this is the most foolproof hiding spot i've ever used in my life my homie introduced me to this like a year ago a year and a half ago i've never heard of anybody getting caught with this tactic and i've also never heard of anybody using this tactic pretty much what i mean by putting this shit in your waistband is if you guys look at your pants and you look at the waistband go to the waistband right get the two fingers and pinch the inside of the waistband and pull it apart and you'll notice that there's like a little empty space in between your waistband right a lot of pants have this a lot of pants don't it just matters what type of pants you be wearing like i know corduroy pants don't really have this shit but i know khakis and dickies like they all have this little space in between the waistband and what you want to do with this is cut a hole like start at the zipper right get like five or six or seven inches away from the zipper and cut a little pocket hole in like in the inside of the waistband and you should cut this little hole like a little bit more to the top of your waistband and in the inside of your waistband and you should be able to stick your finger in there and feel like a bunch of hollow space and this is the perfect spot to hide your cart boys because if you can fit your finger in there like a whole fucking middle finger or something you can get a whole cart connected to the battery and just stuff that bitch in there it works best for like circular fucking pens i've used it a lot with like square dispos it doesn't work with plug and plays because unless you're like really fucking fat but your dispo has to be kind of small or not small it just has to be a good size so that it doesn't fucking snap in half like pretty much you're gonna have the cart inside this little space in your waistband so it can't even fall out unless you fucking make a trash ass hole bro like if this falls out you are the worst fucking engineer in the fucking world and you're gonna have to retire from smoking pot and like go get some education bro because this is the fucking easiest thing in the world and it's the same thing with the hoodie the hoodie is a little bit more risky because i've had it like fall out a couple times on accident because i was being retarded and i forgot it was there but you guys should be doing the same thing with the hoodie like a lot of hoodies have this little a lot of hoodies have this little thing at the bottom where like the sewing connects and look at you can see that there's like a space right here right i'm pulling this there's a hollow space in between this cloth actually i didn't even realize i already had a hole in this bitch you can see right here there's a fucking hollow space in here which beautifully fits your carts your dispos all that shit right it's preferable to hide your cart like right in front of your hoodie pocket or right next to the zipper of your pants because nobody's gonna be looking down at your dick and if they do then they're a fucking creep but yeah nobody's gonna be really looking down there right it's kind of weird yeah guys you can put the cart in your hoodie it's kind of obvious though because like sometimes it hangs around and if you really look hard you'll be able to see it but just fold that shit in just fold your fucking hoodie in and you should be good but it's also pretty risky because a lot of hoodies are loose 
and the shit be just fucking going around like going around your fucking hoodie and sometimes it falls out like a couple times i'd be in the locker room at school not even realizing that my fucking thing was in there i'd be taking off my clothes and i'd be taking off my hoodie and out of nowhere my fucking shit would fall out and i have to i've had to fucking by the grace of god make sure nobody caught me but yeah boys the reason it's number one is because that is the best fucking method so far that i've ever seen in my life of course you can make secret pockets and shit but of course you can make secret pockets and shit but i know a lot of you guys are just straight up fiends and you won't fucking go through the effort of learning how to sew and fucking patch a fucking secret pocket in or anything but yeah boys that's number one um be careful with the hoodie tactic that shit's kind of risky i definitely advise using the pants method but if you can't use the pants method then you should use the hoodie method as backup now that we went over that method let's go on to number two and number two is a jump rope and i know a lot of you guys are like what the fuck is what the fuck how am i gonna hide shit in a fucking jump rope oh come on boys you guys know i'm not a fucking idiot i know my shit if you guys go to like a store or anything you guys buy a jump rope i don't know if a, i don't know if every jump rope has this but there's definitely a large amount of jump ropes that have this there's like a little nice compartment inside the part where you hold it and most of the time you're able to unscrew a jump rope and there'll be like a full fucking compartment right there where you hold it right i figured this out while i was jump roping at my boxing gym like the fucking cap of the jump rope just fucking flew off and i was like yo what the fuck there's a whole compartment in this bitch and i'm gonna be honest i had a square disposable so it didn't really fit in there good at all but if you guys have like a circular cart and circular batteries, you can fit your fucking cart in that bitch. Just buy a jump rope with a big solid space for putting shit inside of. Like just go to Walmart or Target or something, get the fucking jump rope, pop your fucking carts in there and you will be straight chilling, boy. Like when's the last time your parents have ever searched your room or something or someone has ever searched your room and they tried to search a fucking jump rope, bro? Like no one thinks twice about a fucking jump rope. People will search your backpacks, your drawers, your clothes your fucking dirty clothes maybe if they're really trying to find some shit they'll search soda cans and tissue boxes and shit but i don't think someone's gonna check a jump rope bro and if you're gonna get caught with the fucking jump rope it's probably gonna be because like someone's gonna be moving it around and they're gonna hear like a rattling in it which is low-key why if your jump rope's big enough you guys should like put some tissue paper in there so like calms down the rattling noises but other than that you should be straight chilling now that was number two let's get on to number three which is the least good way to hide your shit if you guys can't do number one or number two this is gonna have to go number three is protein powder now i know you guys never heard anybody say jump ropes or protein powder that's why i'm up that's why i'm making this video now for all you fucking fat folks who don't know what fucking protein powder is uh i'm not even gonna say that shit boys just get in the fucking gym search shit on sh search shit up on youtube get get your fucking get your fucking life together bro honestly if you're fat in 2020 2023 bro you're doing something wrong with your life Go to the store, shop online, buy a thing of fucking protein powder. And when you buy the protein powder, bro, it's literally like this big ass container filled with to the top of fucking powder. And all you really have to do is just get a Ziploc bag, put whatever you want to put in there inside the bag, zip it up, and then put the bag all the way at the bottom of the powder. And just like that, boys, you just have a thing full of protein powder. Nothing sus about it. I feel like a really paranoid parent would search through it. But if your parents are just like searching around your room because they smell a little weed, they probably will not look into a fucking protein powder container unless it really smells like weed. Now, there is some problems with this. Like if someone was to shake the container around, they, they might hear like a like a rattle or a hit or something, Um, especially if you're actively drinking the protein powder. Like pro one thing about protein powder, bro, is when you drink it, like it goes away so slow, but it goes away so fast. So you guys could hide your shit in there. And then you'll be just actively drinking the protein powder, right? And then out of nowhere, you'll look in the fucking container and your cart is just right there in plain view, which is kind of dangerous and sketchy, which is why before you finish your protein powder, you guys should like buy another can so you can fucking put your cart in there and be chilling. But yeah, the reason why it's last on the list, because it's like the most fucking risky shit. Like all someone has to do is unscrew the cap and fucking shake it up a little bit and they can just see it right away. Like with the jump rope, all you guys have to do is unscrew the cap and someone could just see your cart, but no one's going to really think to look in a jump rope, right? People also aren't going to think to look in your waistband or in your fucking a little hole in your hoodie, but somebody might think 
that there's shit in a big ass container like a protein powder container or a fucking pretty much any container somebody's gonna look in i know that because my dad be searching that shit he'd be searching like random ass containers that i'd be having in my room but i honestly think if you guys can't do number one or two number three should be the best option just because a lot of the hiding spots nowadays are played out like that little thing that you roll with to take shit off your shirts that shit is played out everybody knows that you hide shit in there you hide stuff in the fucking clothes that's hanging on your closet everybody knows that you hide shit in your drawers and dirty clothes everybody knows that you try to blend this shit up with shit in like your school pencil box everybody knows this shit that's all outdated shit so i decided to give you guys some newly added ways to hide your shit and i'm just gonna give a little bonus tip a lot of you guys are probably not gonna be able to do this but if you guys can get some like if you guys can buy some furniture there's like a hidden compartment in that furniture maybe you guys could like tape carts into it or something or put your cards into it and it could be like way better than all of these methods but me personally i don't just be buying furniture like that i don't i don't even have any furniture that has secret compartments so i can't really follow that but if you guys want to do that shit then that's up to you but yeah boys that's pretty much the life hacks on how to hide your carts your dispose all that shit if you guys made it this far into the video i appreciate it very much i really appreciate it if you guys can get me to fucking 2000 subs by february 28th 2020 24 boys that shit would be a blessing real shit that's been my goal i wrote that shit down on a piece of paper i read that shit every day so if you guys can make that shit happen i'll be fucking blessed but yeah boys share the videos with your homies like subscribe comment all that shit stay connected be yourself and i'm out peace